born in a dead man's town The first kick I took is when I hit the ground You end up like a dog that's been beat too much Till you spend half your life just to cover up I was born in the USA I was born in the USA James here from GoodGuitarist.com and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to play Born in the USA in the actual simplest way that you can play it and this is intended to be the very first song that you ever learn to play on guitar. If you haven't checked it out already I have a free mini course and it's on my website GoodGuitarist.com and that will help you learn um, how to use a pick how to put your fingers on the frets and do all that and um, how to warm up and get ready to play something like this completely accurately and effectively. Uh, so please check that out if you haven't already. I'll put a link to that in the corner. Otherwise, we're going to get started with the chord shapes. The first chord is the E chord. And to play that, we're going to put our first finger on the first fret of the G string. That's the third thinnest string. One, two, three. Then I want to put my middle finger on the second fret of the A string. So that's the second thickest string. So we start at the thickest string, one, two, and we're at the second fret, one, two. So we have those two notes down. And then we're just gonna take our ring finger and put it just underneath our middle finger. So it's also on the second fret of the D string. We have an E chord. Adjust your thumb, adjust your elbow, make it feel comfortable. If you're not sure what to do, like I said, there's that mini course that's gonna help you with all this. And then, we're going to switch to A sus2. And to do that, we just have to take our middle and ring finger and move them down like that. We can leave our index down. And we can just pivot off that finger. And we just move. And just silently switch. Get used to that switch. And when you're ready, we can play through the chords. And this song just uses the same two chords over and over again. Starting on E, we're going to count out loud. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Switch to A, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, back to E, two. In a dead man's town, the first kick I took is when I hit the ground. You end up like a dog. Since we're playing the same chord so many times in a row, it's really helpful to count it a specific way. I like to go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. So I'm replacing beat one with how many bars have happened. You know, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. So I want you to, you can just rewind and try counting along that way. And we basically play, we count to four, four times on each chord. And that's it. That's the entire song. Now, the only thing we have left to do is add some strumming to it. And since this is your first song, I think just keeping it really simple and just downstrokes is the way to go. You know, just focus on the other stuff. We don't need to get too far into rhythm. But if you do want to add something with like a little bit of feeling, instead of going, we can go. So I'm doing a little downstroke that just kind of hits the thicker strings and then a big one. And you know, just alternating between those two strokes is awesome. That creates a great feeling. Um, we do the little downstroke on beat one, the big downstroke on beat two, the little downstroke on beat three, and then the big downstroke on beat four. And, you know, we just try that 
with the with the chords. Let's just give it a shot on the E chord. I'm gonna sing through the tune. One, two, three, four. Born in a dead man's town. The first kick I took is when I hit the ground. You end up like a dog that's been hit too much. Till you spend half your life trying to cover it up. Born in the USA. that's a really simple way to do it and at this point I recommend just printing out the lyrics and you can write the chords beside the lyrics usually the lyrics fill up like the left side of the page you put the chords on the other side of the page and just try your best you know have some fun it's not really about being an awesome performer at this point it's just about getting used to music you know like if you wanted to learn how to juggle you got to be willing to drop the ball a few times and you know that's going to happen with guitar so you might as well make some make some music and have some fun doing it. If you need any extra help, please leave a comment down below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you soon and have a fun time practicing.